I'd just like to mention a little point on safety. In a workshop, you've got many sharp and dangerous objects. Power tools that can do severe damage. So, learn how to use them correctly and always follow the safety precautions with them. Never remove safety guards unless you really feel confident with the tool. Protective gear. Goggles, ear defenders, masks, etc. It's a domestic workshop, there is no regulations, but common sense prevails. When you think you need them, use them. Okay, having said that, now let's get on with today's project. So, how did you get on last time? Cube within a cube within a cube. Did you have a go at it? It's quite easy if you did, isn't it? Um, good fun doing them as well. Okay, the nail in a piece of wood. As you can see, it's in there. But how it got in there is the puzzle. It won't come back out again unless you do a reverse process of how you got it in there, which we're now going to have a look at. Right, you start off with a soft piece of wood, take the nail that you need, or that you're going to use, um, and just roughly make the sizes of it, mark them onto the piece of wood. And then what we want to do, end up with four teeth. Once you've got them points, Start at the beginning and at the end. And then we want the other two teeth. Now keep them roughly about half inch thick each tooth. Like so. And as long as they end up even, I mean, we're, if you're going to do it by hand, then you need to be drawing these lines pretty accurate. But I'm going to be using the radial arm saw so I can do them and then correct them as I'm actually on the saw itself. The nail wants to sit down about half an inch, three quarters of an inch from the top when the job's finished. You want double that in the teeth depth. So if we go down about an inch and a half, that will give plenty of convincing that the nail is in there and there's no way of getting it in or getting it out. Now what we need to do is to mill out these three teeth. Now you can use a hand saw and a chisel or you can use a table saw or whatever. I'm going to use a radial hand saw for it. Okay, so there we have it, the comb is ready, now how to get that through there, next stage. Okay, next we put one tooth into a pan of boiling water, leave it to soak for a little bit.
and back in the pan. There we have it, still a little bit more swelling for it to do. But as soon as it's dried out, it'll come up fully. And then you can sand it down, but there you have it. And there we are, all finished, dried out, sanded down. Ready now, show on your shelf and see how many people take notice of it and start wondering how it actually got in there. But don't let on, just leave them back old. Because at the end of the day, once you've told them what it is, how it works, the fun's over. Right, before we go, I've got a little trick to show you. Nice little party piece. Might even win you a few bets down the pub or something. Here it is. We've got a nail stuck in a piece of wood. As you can see, I've just hammered it in a piece of wood. Just because I don't want to hammer it into my bench, that's all. Just hammer it into anything and then take an additional 10 flat-headed nails. There we have it. 10 flat-headed nails. Okay. The challenge is get them all to stand on that head at the same time. All ten of them at the same time on there. I can hardly even get one to stand on there. How am I supposed to get ten? You can't use any magnets, any elastic bands, or any other tomfoolery tricks. You can't stand them on the edge like this or any other which way, you've got to get all ten of them to stand on top at the same time. Challenge your mates down the pub. You know, I can do it, but you can't. Bet your pint I can. Go on then, everybody in the bar, everybody at the counter. Go on, bet your pint you can't. Right, they all have a go. They don't even think at the end of it you can do it because it's that impossible to get to stand on there, so they're happy to bet a pint, they're going to win a pint off you. Pretty obvious you're not going to come into the pub with it, if you can't do it, but hopefully you might win yourself some beers. Alright, um, and then while they're all busy trying to discuss how it was done, or the fact that it can't be done, you're just busy beeping away there, with all ten nails, mm-hmm, like we're on. Lining them up, getting ready to get drunk, because you're just about to win a whole lot of beers. Because not only is it now all ten of them on there, but it's quite sturdy and all. Yeah, like it. No? Yeah.